Oh, no, Minister, I think the Ugandans would like to be satisfied about how you came to do what you are doing. Because we just read in the press that there are e-passports. No one came here to report after the summit. Each of those passports is still issued under the national laws of each of the countries. It's only the features which have been agreed that they should be common. Since the amount has been doubled, we really feel this is too much. It means we are denying the local people from acquiring the passport. My passport goes up to 2028. How do you make me? You are going to bring litigation for no problem, for no, no good reason. I would sue you for the refund of my... You guys don't have even uh, these uh, national IDs. So you are running something bigger before you consider your cooperation. You are citizens first. And I'm not convinced at all that we, should, we are in such a hurry and need to go into this business. What would be our fate in the unlikely event that the East African community collapses? Would those passports still be valid? Was a research or consultation made to the effect that Ugandans are ready for e-passport? I think I'm sensing a very serious legal, mm. legal issue. You know, the Treaty for East African Cooperation allowed us to issue passports for use within ourselves. I'm trying to find out from you who, how, who allowed us to move to other countries using those passports. Because the treaty has not been amended, the protocol has been laid here. Give me time. I come with all those documents that you have raised to explain the basis of these passports. So for now, nothing happens. And can you come to back to us on, on Tuesday? That's enough time for you to collect the document. No, no, no.